Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another exciting tutorial with UX Mate. You have seen a lot of professional designers or the professional websites have a animating text or a mark you text effect on their websites. And today, I'm going to tell you how to create the mark you text effect inside Figma. So yes, let's jump into Figma and get started with it. Well, before that, make sure you have already subscribed to the channel and hit the bell icon next to it because if you're not doing that, then you're going to miss a lot of exciting design content ahead. So yep, I am here in Figma. And by the way, I hope you have already seen the FigPal. If not, then explore it right now. Soon it would be taken out. To activate the FigPal, you have to you know, look for this icon in the Figma and you can create your own FigPal. I have created this cool. You can just, you know, change the, the styles. Uh, they have various, you know, uh, elements. You can use the food items, some random items, uh, Figma icon. I personally liked this one, so I have kept it. You can take a screenshot, or, uh, sorry, or take a photo of this and you can uh, post it on the Instagram or social media. And yes, you can hit the surprise me button, which will give you a randomly generated so yep uh, let me just close this uh, and you can if you don't want this uh, trailing effect you can park your pal here uh, on you know uh, your menu bar okay so i'll just keep it i am loving it i am enjoying it so now let's quickly create a test frame uh, which we want our animation to be so i'll select a frame i'll go to the uh, phone you can choose any frame doesn't matter let's choose one uh, for the iphone okay and let's quickly create the text which we want to create the animation so i'll say text or oh sorry text animation is super cool in figma i'll just bring it outside the frame for now you can change the look and feel style uh, whatever you want you can you know get rid of the feel and just have the stroke as well if you uh, prefer you know this style i'll just uh, use the feel Okay, something like this, great. And uh, just to separate the elements, you can, you know, use some sort of shapes or uh, anything which you feel, you know, is basically separating your multiple text if you have at all. And if you don't want multiple text, you can have only single text, a pretty long text, which is animated in the Mark style. I'll just use this one and let's give it a nice red color from our logo. Okay, I'll select both of them. I'll hit Shift A, which will create an auto layout here. And uh, for the auto layout, I would use the uh, center align, okay. And probably I'll just make it a little bit smaller. Okay, great. Now uh, we have the first set of and uh, first. So now we have the first set of text ready. Let's duplicate it. But before that, let me give them nice names. So let's say it mark you slash start, okay. And I'll select the text and the shape together. I'll hit command D duplicate uh, and I'll just move the text so that you know I have text icon text icon and same way I'll do uh, one more time and I'll just have text alone at the end so this way we have text icon text icon text icon and you can do it as long as you want you know uh, but let's do it this uh, length only okay now let's duplicate this and let's give it a name mark you end uh, and you'd be noticing I am using a slash in the name because I'm going to create a component set and uh, Here we have a quick tip guys when we use name slash and then uh, Name which basically creates a component uh, Which it use you know the mark you or the first name before slash is the name for the component and then the name after the slash is name for the variant so this was your pro tip uh, for today's video and I hope if you like this, don't forget to like the video and don't forget to write them down in the comments if you have already known this or not, okay? Uh, or if you have ever used uh, this technique for creating the quick components or not. So I'll just, you know, see uh, what is the size of my frame where I'm going to put the animation. So it is around 393, okay? I'll just select both of the frames and I'll give them width of 300 pixels. And I'll enable the clip content for both of them so we don't see all the other text which is outside the frame. And now we are going to convert this into a component. To do this, select both of them, go to the component menu here, click on this drop down icon and click on create component set. So that will create a component set with two variants. You can see, you know, the name of the first variant is start 
and name of the second variant is end because we have given the names in the uh, in the slash okay so now I'll just you know create a first you know quick prototype interaction which is going to be you know our animation so now instead of uh, on click we are going to use after delay for the triggering the animation and we'll use one millisecond which will start immediately and then action would be changed to prototype uh, uh, sorry property would be end because we are going to take it to the end and now animation will be you know smart animate let's use linear and let's give it 5000 milliseconds which is basically 5 seconds okay and I'll close this let's create a looping animation with you know uh, from the second variant to the first for that let's do it same way after delay but this time it is going to be 1 millisecond and same here for 1 millisecond let's click outside let's go to the design let's select the text uh, uh, or the you know second variant and now we, are, we will change the uh, auto layout to the align right okay so what exactly is happening here guys so when we are changing the auto layout uh, you know alignment from left to right it basically is aligning the text to the right edge of the frame which in a way changing the position of the all elements inside it and this way you know when we create the animation it automatically creates the cool animation for us so I'll select the first variant of the uh, component and I'll bring it in the frame uh, where you know we are, want to use this and I'll quickly go to the preview so now you can see uh, I guess speed is too fast but uh, I'll just quickly you know adjust the speed let's select the first after delay and let's give it 10,000 milliseconds which is 10 seconds of the uh, duration and that will make it half of the speed see this text animation is super cool in Figma and we have created this infinite looping mark you text animation in Figma within the minutes so I hope guys you have enjoyed this video and if you really did it then don't forget to you know write down it in the comment and don't forget to subscribe to the channel till the next video keep watching keep learning keep designing